I want to put your notice that life is bloody. Are you with me? Life is bloody. And if you do not know how to play the game of blood, and I'm not using the word game in a playful sense. I'm talking about the intrigues. I'm talking about... Ah, I, I, I'm talking about spiritual warmanship. Spiritual craftsmanship. If you do not know how to engage blood, you are going to realize that whereas there's a provision for some kind of blood to do some kind of thing, you will be using your own blood. Unfortunately, like I'm sure you already know, all the blood that you have is not enough hmm? to pay all the debt that you owe. It's not enough. But what is sacrosanct is God must draw blood. And even the avenger, when the avenger comes, the avenger comes to draw blood. And the only thing that saves those that are saved is not because they are bloodless. It's because they have blood. But it is blood that is not theirs. But it is blood that is for them. Anyone, anyone, anyone that has been born by a woman already cannot avoid this blood complication. So it will either be your blood or it will be somebody else's. But one way or the other. <laughs> hey, God will draw blood. And when it comes that day, and he sees blood already. Ha! Ah. They give you the pass mark. That will be your safety. And if he does not see blood, then they will enter inside to draw it. Because one way or the other, Abba will draw blood. It will be either your own, <laughs> but it better not be yours. The Israelites, the Israelites that were spared from being destroyed that night, it was not that they did nothing and they were spared. No. It, 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 blood, it, at the end of the day, one way or the other, God is going to draw blood. When Israel was going to finally leave Egypt, the Lord said to them that this will be a night to be much remembered. And you know that the remembrance is different for different camps. Egypt will not forget that night <laughs> just as much as Israel will not forget that night. But for very different reasons. Hello? You know why Egypt cannot forget that night. That was the night that the angel of death passed through the land of Egypt. This pass through will not be in the interest of my people. So if I want to pass through Egypt tonight, when I come to the house of Israelites, of the Israelites, if I see blood. Instead of passing through, what will I do? I'll pass over. It was almost as if to say, there is no need to slay here because something has been slain here already. You see, the coming down of God was deliverance for Egypt, for Israel. And it was judgment for Egypt. And the difference was blood. That night, the difference was what? It was blood. And when God comes on that day of judgment, and he cannot see blood. They will draw it that day. But blessed is the man whose sins are covered. Blessed is that man to whom the Lord does not impute. The Lord does not impute iniquity. There is an arrangement for covering that exists. And if that has not happened before the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. And that day broke after nine warnings. Nine consecutively. To say, I... I'm coming, I'm coming. And Egypt will harden its heart. When that day finally broke, the only people that were not weeping that night huh, were the people that already had blood before the day came. So it's either you already had blood beforehand or they will exact it on that day. I'm saying that either way, God will draw blood. 